We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Now the big leg of Matt Prater ready to get this one started. And this one is underway here on EA Sports. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Purdy going to the air right away. Got a man. That's Ayuk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the game's opening play and a quick first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Back to throw, Purdy. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. No sense risking anything there on first down. Even though he's still in the pocket, he had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Second and ten. Now Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 45-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Kittle with the nice hands there, and he's coming off yet another all-pro season in which he was a lone player at his position to eclipse 1,000 yards for the year, and he only needed 65 catches to do it. Once he grabs the ball, good luck getting him on the ground. Open man is Juwan Jennings. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. And it's a real luxury when you have a guy who can turn a short throw into a solid gain at any moment. Once he caught that ball, he ID'd where the open grass was and got there in a hurry to pick up a new set of downs for his offense. Purdy sets up to throw again. He'll get this into the hands of Ayu. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Mason. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. And throwing here, Purdy. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Well, that's not just his first, not his second, already his third completion here on the opening drive. And I think it's safe to say that getting him the ball in this game, one of their top priorities. And a top priority for the defense has got to be finding ways to cover him. And I don't think you can have one basic coverage to get it done. You have to throw a number of coverages at him, make him think as he's running downfield, and hope you can create a little bit of havoc. So no sack, he gets back to the line of scrimmage, but it'll still bring up a fourth down. But one of the things we talked about coming into this one is that we we're never going to question the fight that he's going to have for all four quarters of a game. But ideally, you want him fighting for big plays and first downs early, not fighting just to get back to the line of scrimmage, as we saw right there. And his kick is right there. It's good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. 
Arizona getting ready to go as they take the field. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. First carry for James Conner. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. To throw is Murray. Got his man, it's Deutsch. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. So from the 37, here's a second and five. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That's complete to Michael Wilson. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 26. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. On first and 10 is Connor. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Connor going to get it again on second down. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Murray now. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Fourth down, Murray off, and the Cards field goal unit and Matt Prater out there now. This will be spotted at the 37, so it's a 47-yard attempt. And the now 40-year-old veteran able to put this one through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two boxers feeling each other out here in the early going of the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. Each team with a possession, each team with a field goal as the kick is away. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them... That's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain.
They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And the 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Purdy. He's got Mason complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Niners passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Throw left side complete. That's Mason. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can, these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield, that can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show this swing pass, show this check down. Maybe later on, you heave one deep when you catch them close to the spot. So five plays on this drive, Charles. All passes, all completions. And just like that, they're in the red zone. And don't you think the playbook opens up a little bit more now? Because all they've done is throw the football. If you want to run it now, you may very well have them fooled. And yeah, that's going to be incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far, even backed up late. They're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. He's got Ayuk on the sideline. And he is out of bounds, looks like right at the 15. Five yards, now it's third and five. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Purdy. He's got this complete to Ayuk on the out route. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. It'll be a gain of five. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now that's going to be a tough one to explain when they get together to watch the game film, isn't it? I mean, they had the right call, had the out route. He's got to know where the first down sticks are, yet he steps out of bounds that close. Not their best play. And his kick here is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. So we're trading first half field goals. No breakthrough on the touchdown front. We've got a 6-3 game. Yeah, and I know so many people look at a game through offensive eyes, right? They want to see how the game's played that way. You know how I'm going to view it, right? The defenses, to me, have responded well in this game. Like what I'm seeing from them, both of them hoping to keep it to field goals and not give up big touchdowns. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Now the Cardinals going to get the football one final time here in this first half. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Final 10 seconds of the half as they've got it first and 10. To throw, it's Murray. Screen pass to Connor. Finding space at the 40. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And they'll have time for one play. That's it. Three seconds to go before intermission.
A final shot before half for Murray. Looking deep downfield. And incomplete on the deep ball. So if you like field goals, this is your game. 6-3, three, three field goals at the break. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Cardinals ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they're on the losing end of things here. What do they need to do if they're going to turn things around, C.D.? Partner, it's awfully close to being a must drive here, I think, for them, because I think a touchdown here in this opening drive is something they absolutely have to have. They only managed three points in the first half. They know that's not going to get it done. So without adding pressure to them, they already know the stakes. They need a touchdown here to get things started. He'll get this to Connor underneath. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Now Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. First target, first catch, and a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Murray a give. This is Connor. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And yeah, this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. Here's Murray. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49er. The big fella. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. Moody good with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Cardinals getting set to trot out there now. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10. They begin on the ground here with Connor. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Got it here at the 29 on second and eight. Murray going to throw. That pass completed to Dorch. So eight yards on the completion there. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Oh 
Murray now to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. You know, we saw that indeed picking up the first. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. He's been quiet today in the passing game, just his second catch. Yeah, and people have to come up with schemes to limit him. And, and what a lot of teams do, they'll double him, you know, use a linebacker underneath, a safety over the top. Sometimes they'll just take a corner, maybe their third corner if he's a bigger guy, and put him on a man-to-man -man to try and limit his touches. Just keep mixing it up, give him different angles, different looks, like a good boxer does. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. Shotgun now for Murray. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. From the 22 now, here's second and nine. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. Touchdown, Cardinals! Trey McBride, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Cardinals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. He locked in on him early and found him for a touchdown. Prater for the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The end result, 21 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Now Mason, and he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 36. Give them 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn them a fresh set of downs. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it, and they got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that would be the time to do it. 
And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now they run. It's Mason. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. On the ground again, it's Mason. He'll get this down to the 21, just on the edge of the red zone. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now a second and six. They'll run here with Mason. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Mason, and he will have a Niners first down, and that ought to be the one that seals the victory. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Purdy down to a knee, and that should be the final act of the ball game. I don't know about you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros. So the victory here for San Francisco, and this one won't be remembered for many offensive fireworks, but they did enough to get the job done. And that's why it's a team game, because sometimes you have to lean on one part of your team. And they leaned on their defense. In fact, they probably went over there and asked for some help. Like, guys, we just don't have it in this one. Can you hook us up? And they did in a big way. Said, no problem. Put it on our shoulders. We'll carry you home. And they did exactly that. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say so long and sign off from the desert.